As the plastic raw material is conveyed forward in the feed section, it is compacted into what is often called a solid bed. As this solid bed of plastic moves forward, the plastic begins to melt at the surface in contact with the barrel. This melting typically starts at a distance of four or five screw flights from the feed throat. The heat required to begin this melting is drawn from the heated barrel wall. This is conductive heat. Heaters on the extruder barrel produce heat which is transferred to the barrel and then conducted to the plastic. Plastic, however, is a very poor conductor of heat. It conducts heat about one-thirtieth as fast as the steel in the barrel. So conductive heating of plastic is not very efficient. This means there can be large differences in the temperature between the barrel and the plastic and large temperature differences within the plastic itself. When the plastic raw material begins to melt, its flow changes from plug flow to a type of flow called drag flow. To explain drag flow, imagine there is thick taffy-like plastic fluid in a channel between two long rectangular plates. If the top plate is moved, it drags a layer of plastic with it. Just under this layer, plastic is also dragged along, but there is some slippage, so this plastic moves at a slightly slower velocity. Lower down, the plastic moves at an even slower velocity, and so on, until at the stationary plate, the plastic does not flow at all. So the velocity profile looks like this. And since the plastic is being dragged by one plate past another, it is called drag flow. 